Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's been a while. <laughs> well, if you're new, I'm Dave. How's it going? And in this video, we're going to be working on a really fun piece. It's mixed medium, playing around with a few different materials and yeah, just having as much fun as possible. And for the purpose of this video, I'm doing it the cheapest way possible. So the first thing I'm going to go and do here is lay down some watered down PVA glue and just get that background paper nice and wet. And I'm now going to apply some newspaper just as a backdrop. If you are creating a more professional piece, you can have a lot of fun with this. You don't necessarily have to use a random newspaper. You can put down some imagery related to the actual piece, get it professionally printed and just glue it down. But yeah, just for this demonstration, I'm just using just some plain old regular newspaper, aka propaganda. To add a little bit of colour to the background, I've just mixed a little bit of acrylic and water and put it into a spray bottle and I'm just going to spray down that background and add in a few little splashes here and there. It's quite abstract this, I don't really have any structure in place, just being loose and having a little bit of fun. After I apply this water down acrylic, I'll let the let the canvas dry for an hour or two and then I'll come back to it. After leaving the canvas to dry overnight, I now get my XL charcoal block, which is very, very loose charcoal. And I start putting in all that charcoal on top of the beautiful background. I'm just focusing on the darker areas, all the high contrast areas. And then once I get all those blacks in, I'll then use my finger to kind of create a few little tones. The overall look I'm trying to achieve in this particular piece is quite loose and quite artistic. Uh, I'm not going into the usual details with the charcoal and the makeup brushes, just being loose and yeah, having as much fun as possible. is a really fun and easy way to create beautiful pieces of art. You don't really have to have any structure in place and I'm pretty confident that anyone, if anyone were to apply the same techniques, you can very easily achieve the same results. Just be loose and be creative. There is no right or wrong way to express yourself. Once 
once I have all the charcoal down, now I just want to create a little bit of balance on the piece. So by doing this, I just add a few little splashes of red on either side. I go ahead and I get my marker and I just put in some random quotes and text. Uh, it's just, it's kind of abstract. You're not really supposed to read it. It's just to add another layer to the overall piece. Once I'm happy with everything, I go ahead and I use a clear acrylic varnish spray and I give the overall piece a couple of coats uh, just to bond all the charcoal and acrylic to the actual canvas. And this will then prime it for putting in a little bit of acrylic paint. And just to add another dimension to the overall piece, I just want to use my palette knife and add in some of those iconic elephants with really long legs <laughs> that Salvador Dali used in some of his paintings. But yeah, uh, I'm not putting too much detail into this. It's all meant to be quite abstract and quite loose. So yeah, overall I'm extremely happy with how this piece has turned out. Very, very easy process to create such a beautiful piece of artwork and I'm so confident that anyone out there just by applying the same kind of little techniques can very easily achieve the same results. So go ahead, give it a try. You don't necessarily have to do it on such a large scale and kind of work your way up. But yeah very very happy and uh, yeah I think I think this will I think this will look really nice on a wall I forgot to mention I just added a little touch of white to the eyes just to kind of give the impression I wanted the eyes to really stand out so yeah we've come to the end of the video very much appreciate everyone taking the time out to watch this I had a lot of fun putting it all together and I really hope that somebody out there can just maybe maybe I can inspire one person to create something similar. But if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you all in the next video. Take care everyone.